I want to attach a block to the tree. Here I've got my block in an eye sling, got my lowering line inside the block. I'm going to tie a timber hitch. Timber hitch is a commonly used hitch for attaching a block or another tool to a tree, especially if my sling isn't long enough to go around the tree twice where I could tie a cow hitch. Well, let's, let's go ahead and install the timber hitch to the tree. I'm going to start by taking the tail of it and flipping it around the tree, making sure I don't hit myself in the face, which is a pretty common thing to do. Take the tail, I form a bite around the eye right above the block. And now the important thing is to take tucks or wraps back to itself. And we want to do at least five tucks back onto the sling and spread those five tucks out as far as we can. Now I've got a little extra, so I might just do one more. Now it's important when using the timber hitch that we load it 90 degrees to this bite right here or 180 degrees to the bite right here. And that's important, let me show you why. Because if we load it with the bite, we run the risk of pulling that timber hitch apart. And that could be a bad thing. Well, we've seen the limitation of the timber hitch. Let's address this limitation by showing you the cow hitch. Here I have an eye sling. I want to attach a block to this tree. I've, I've taken the eye and placed my block in there. You'll notice that the eye on this eye sling, the ones that are made by Cheryl Tree, are much longer than many others, and there's a reason for that. As I put it around the tree to form my hitch, you'll notice that the sling itself is bending over two parts of the rope. Much better configuration. I'm going to tie a cow hitch. So I've come around, formed a bite here, bring the rope back around, run the tail of my sling through the bite that I've made. I'm going to do a half hitch between the bite and the tool. In this case, it's a block. And you'll notice I've got some extra tail hanging in the way. It's best to just tuck that up out of the way. So now I've got a tool that enables me to hang a block or any other tool on any part of the tree where maybe I don't have a natural crotch.